All right, so let's solve a problem which appeared in JMA in 2025. This is again another question from Ellipse. And this is again talking about a chord whose midpoint is given. But this time it's asking for the length of the chord. All right. So this question is generally a little bit lengthy. And uh, yeah, it will take a little bit time, a lot of calculation. If something goes wrong, then you would uh, definitely end with a wrong result. So choose this question wisely if you got time then do attempt it if not then try attempting other questions okay so with that caveat let's start this question so we have been given x square by 9 plus 5 square by 4 equals to 1 and this is the midpoint which is given so we know that the equation of the chord whose midpoint is given is given by t equals to s1 so we can write it as x x1 so we just took okay let's let's write it x x1 upon 9 plus y y1 upon 4 minus 1 and that should be equal to x1 square upon 9 plus y1 square upon 4 minus 1 and then we'll substitute the value so this is x into root 2 upon 9 plus y into 4 by 3 into 4 and this will be uh, root 2 square and then we will have upon 9 plus 4 by 3 whole squared upon 4 so what do I get here is root 2x by 9 plus 4 gets cancelled so this is y upon 3 and what we get here is 2 upon 9 plus this would be 16 by 9 into 1 by 4 so this will be 4 4 is 16 so now if I take an LCM this will be 2 plus 4 right so that will become 6 upon 9 which is eventually okay let's use 6 by 9 only and then I can take 9 as LCM over here so this will be root 2x plus 3y and that is actually equal to 6 upon 9 so 9 and cancels now what we have got is root 2x as plus 3y equals to 6 now what I have to do is that I have to basically substitute either y or x in this equation of ellipse and then try to find out the points where it is gonna be basically intersecting. So what we are saying here is that if this is an ellipse whose chord is this, right? If I want to find out these two points, what I have to do is that I have to basically satisfy these two equations together and then only we will be able to find these two points. So what we are going to do is that we are going to substitute this in the equation of the ellipse to find out these two points. So we can rearrange this 3y uh, can be written as 6 minus root 2x or I can just divide uh, by 3 so this will be y so our equation is x square okay it's x square upon 9 plus y square by 4 equals to 1 right so this is what is my equation right yeah x square by 9 plus y square by 4 so x square by 9 can be kept as is but I can take y square as um, 2 minus root 2 by 3 x whole squared upon 4 which is gonna be equal to 1 then what do I get here is x square by 9 plus this 2 square will become 4 and then root 2 by 3 will become plus 2 by 9 x squared so we are doing a minus b whole squared so a square plus b square minus 2ab so 2 into 2 into root 2 by 3 into x divided by 4 is actually equal to 1 so we will again divide this so this will become x square by 9 plus 4 is to 4 is 1 plus 2 by 9 is to 4 will be 1 by 18 x square right and minus 2 into 2 upon 4 will cancel out so this will be root 2 by 3 into x which is actually equal to 1 so 1 1 cancels out now what I've get is what I've got is this x square by 9 and x square by 18 can be summed up again and I can take 18 as LCM so this will become 2 x square plus x square and this will be root 2 by 3 into x equals to 0 okay so this will become 3 x square upon 18 minus root 2 by 3 into x equals to 0 
so this will be 3 to 6 so x square upon 6 minus root 2 by 3 into x equals to 0 so I can take x by 6 common so x by 6 is common so this will be x minus 2 root 2 x 2 root 2 sorry so this is what it will be uh, if I take x by 6 common so from here I get two values of x which is x equals to 0 and x equals to 2 root 2 so what it means is that one point is actually having the x coordinate as 0 the other point is having x coordinate as 2 root 2 what I want is the distance between these two so if I call this as let's say for example x1 y1 and call this as x2 y2 what I eventually want to get is the distance d is x2 minus x1 whole squared plus y2 minus y1 whole squared right so so x2 and x1 is we have got so if I can just get y2 minus y1 then we will be able to get this right so here is where we will get y2 and y1 so if I say y2 is actually equal to 2 minus root 2 upon root sorry not root again by 3 into x2 and y1 is 2 minus again root 2 by 3 into x1 so what is my y2 minus y1 my y2 minus y1 will be 2 and 2 cancels out and this will become positive so let's write it out anyways this will be 2 minus root 2 by 3 into x2 minus 2 plus root 2 by 3 into x1 so this this cancels out then I can get root 2 by 3 common and this will be x1 minus x2 right so what is my x1 minus x2 root 2 by 3 so x1 minus x2 would be 2 root 2 minus 0 right so this is 2 root 2 into 2 which will be 4 4 by 3 so I got y2 minus y1 as 4 by 3 my x2 minus x1 as 2 root 2 minus 0 which is 2 root 2 now we will substitute these values over here so what do I get 2 root 2 whole squared plus 4 by 3 whole squared which gives me 8 plus 16 by 9 now I do this and then we get 9 as LCM and 72 plus 16 so this will be root 88 upon 9 which I can say is just 2 by 3 into 22 root 22 now what I've been given finally is that this value is actually equal to 2 root alpha by 3 now my 2 root alpha by 3 is 2 root 22 by 3 right so now we can say that root 3 3 cancel root 3, this is cancel so alpha is nothing but 22 right so this is what is my answer all right so in all these questions wherever you have been given an equation of a chord and then you're supposed to find the length of the chord you've got to basically substitute it and then figure out x2 minus x1 y2 minus y1 and then that's how you will find the length of the chord okay so yeah in general this is little lengthy sometimes your equation this time your equation turned out to be an easy one wherein you could easily figure out your x1 x1 but other times this will be difficult to get to like you will have a quadratic wherein you want to find your x2 minus x1 and then you'll have to do something like this like if you want to find your x2 minus x1 whole squared what you have to do is that it should be x1 plus x2 whole squared and minus 2x1 x2 right so basically these two roots uh, some of the roots and the product of the roots you have to like manipulate and get it right so these are some of the questions which will be there as in like I think in 2025 itself there was another question which has come and then where the length of the chord was being asked and this time the equation didn't turn out to be that easy it turned out to be a quadratic uh, wherein you had to find out the roots and uh, yeah that was a little difficult problem to solve alright so any which ways uh, if you got time do solve this problem you get better at it and then you can attempt the questions in the exam as well okay so thank you so much for watching this video if you've got any queries do ask me in the comment section below and i'll be happy to answer your queries thank you so much for watching this video have a good day